Hi, Ed. I'm Diane Rowden, Hernando County Commissioner, and um, I've known you for many years. You're Ed Lawrence, and you're in, we're involved with the Lake House, and we're sitting here today, and I'd like you to kind of maybe explain a little bit of how you got involved with the Lake House and a little bit of the history of the Lake House. Well, historically, the Lake House, the grounds here were, <clears throat> were donated to the Spring Hill Civic Association by the Macklin Brothers and the Del Corpor Deltona Corporation when they finished the major building part of Spring Hill. And it was designed to be a park-like setting like it is now for the resident of the, the county to come and have meetings and weddings and parties and stuff. And this was one was the administrative office at one time, also a sales office at one time. For Deltona Corporation. For, for the Deltona uh -huh. Corporation. And uh, this and the, the Little Red Schoolhouse was one at one was one time, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, the main library over here. Oh really? Yes. And uh, they uh, what they did was the Civic Association's responsibility was to collect homeowners association it was at that time. But then it evolved into the Spring Hill Community Association, whereby we didn't have that responsibility. So our our responsibility was to keep it in a park-like setting, for at a reasonable rate for the residents of Hernando and Spring Hill to come and enjoy, have meetings and seminars and weddings and parties and that kind of stuff. And I think when um, Deltona Corporation, when they sold, when they gave this, part of the stipulation says that this would always remain like a park in setting. In a park-like setting, yes, yeah. always. That was one of the stipulations in the, in the contract. And uh, also that uh, the, the Little Red Schoolhouse, the Spring Hill Library bookstore now, was to be granted a uh, lease for infinity. You know, they, yeah. could, they could stay for as long as the grounds were open. They uh, would have access to that building and uh, to, to be able to, uh, to do that book selling and stuff for, for the, it, the county. And yeah. I guess you would call this almost like downtown Spring Hill. You know? <laughs> I mean, because if there was, At I one mean, time, yeah, this was, was downtown Spring Hill. You know, everything was centered around these 25 plus acres here. And, uh, and uh, you know, it, it was a, it still is, you know, a, a one of the main hubs here, but, you know, recreationally yeah. speaking, you know. But, and uh, so the community association, we, uh, <coughs> we came in and uh, with the stipulation in the contract in mind, we, we wanted to keep it the, just the way it was. So we started to make some improvements and we, um, the ones that we could, because we were all volunteers here. And uh, we fixed the place up, did some refurbishing. Built the pavilion in the back. Built the pavilion in the, in the back and started to have a series of uh, music concerts out back. And uh, we've had good success with those. You know, Lot, they, and, uh, and then, what are they at Christmas time? I believe they have oh, Angels on High. Angels on High, one of our biggest projects of the year. We uh, it started out as a seven-day event for a whole the whole week. Yeah. Uh, but we, due to uh, attrition and stuff, we had to cut it down to three days. But it was, it was always big, and that event involved members of the community, clubs, organizations, schools, businesses would make <coughs> excuse me would make angel displays. We would hang them up outside, light them up, and have an angel path where you could walk through and view the angels and have a contest. Of first place had five different categories, so uh, schools and everybody participated. It was very big. It's it was big, very big. Very big. And I, I'm, people would love, and they still do, but we don't have it as big. But yeah. I think they would um, have like hot chocolate. And, oh, yeah. We've, and. <laughs> Hot Coffee, apple hot cider, yeah. and people would just yeah. sit around and music, Christmas music. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was really very well received, and we loved it. It was a big project, but it usually came off very, very well, and people seemed to enjoy it. Oh, I know. I've heard so yeah. many. Well, I've lived here for 30 years in Hernando County, and we attended many of the events yeah. here, yeah. and also. But the Angels on High, I think, was one of the highlights of Christmas that yeah. people always yeah. enjoyed coming. To watch and and just the interest that people had in, in listening to their comments and yes it was, yes, really it, 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 was, it, was, it was really successful you know it was, we were <coughs> excuse me we were sorry that we had to cut it down two three days a week but you know it was just that we didn't have the, the manpower to keep it going but even when it was down to three days it's still well I know as a county commissioner I'm really excited that the county was able to get involved and continue what you and all of the members of the board 
put your heart into and a lot of sweat, right, Ed? <laughs> exactly. <a> lot of, <laughs> I know. Lot of I came enough, to many yeah. of these. Yeah, yeah, you were out there yeah, sweating, yeah. It, but but it was the dedication, and yeah. you you know even though the hard work, you just didn't want to let go. <laughs> it was tough to let go, but. Uh, but thanks to you guys, the commission, and I must say that you guys were awesome. You've been awesome, you know, and they're coming in here and taking over, that you're going to continue to do what we were doing. And uh, without you, you just came to our rescue, really, because uh, we were on and the edge. We we paid you, we say paid you, but we paid <laughs> the Spring Hill Community Center $250,000. Uh -huh. And a lot of people at first thought, oh, well, you're paying them that money. What are they going <laughs> to do with that money? But my understanding is all that money went back into the community, into not-for-profit, like the... Exactly. Um, uh, there were 12... NAMI got some money, yeah, I believe. 12 and, different uh, organizations, and off the top of them here, NAMI was one, the Spring Hill... Crescent Community. Crescent Community, uh, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Pet Love, uh, the Humane Society, uh, and some others got money. And uh, one of the main things that we were we wanted to make sure that the school, the five public high schools in the county, they got money. Each uh, two kids from each school, we gave them a, a total of thirty thousand dollars to wow. to them. Yes, wow. and For scholarship, scholarship funds. Fund. Yeah. So uh, that the money was very well spent. It went right back into the community, to, into the community, and. Uh, you know, it's the time spent here was well spent. You know, really, right. because the community did benefit from it in wow. a lot of ways. I know your your heart and <laughs> soul and everything. I imagine you drive by and you just smile every time. I you do, come by. I do. I come by and uh, and I, I must tell you that you know the the grounds and stuff and the building looks good. You know, you guys are doing a great job. And uh, well, like I want to thank you, Ed, yeah. and I really appreciate you and all your hard work and dedication. Yeah, well, I'm still available for small things. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Thanks, Beth.